Hey everyone, welcome back to Impossibly Kosher. In preparation for Pesach, today we're going to be making lamb shanks. Don't get intimidated, it's much easier than you think. This video is sponsored by the Kosher King and KosherMeetsToYou.com. Check out their links, I'll leave them in the description below. Let's get to it. Lamb shanks, a traditional meal for a Seder. Make sure to get the best ones you can find, which all starts with a great meat supplier. <clears throat> KosherMeetsToYou.com Start off with some paprika, add to it a little bit of cinnamon, a bit of cumin, a teaspoon of oregano, a sprinkle of kosher salt, and a pinch of black pepper. Mix it well, get the rub nice and blended together. And there you go. All those flavors just ready to get to work. I like to use a Ziploc bag for the marinating steps. It keeps the messy part to a minimum. So in the bag the shanks go, then pour on in the rub all over. Now add in a generous amount of olive oil, which will help spread the rub all over the shanks. Last thing is to add in some garlic. Now no need to slice them too much. Just rough chunks will do great. Now back in the bag they go. Zip it up and shake, shake, shake. Now really shake it, shake it like you mean it. You want every piece of meat covered completely with the rub. Now that looks pretty good. Then in the fridge it goes overnight. Now when ready to cook, we're gonna prep our add-ons. Starting by peeling two carrots, then peeling and roughly chopping two onions. Keep the pieces on both the onions and the carrots nice and big. They're gonna add great flavor to this meal as is. So really there's no need to slice them too thin. Keep these all on the side, we're gonna need them very soon. Now get a ceramic pot on the stove, high heat and add in a good amount of olive oil and let it heat right up. Once it's hot, add in the shanks. We're gonna be braising the lamb. Braising just means searing the meat to give it a good brown color on all sides. Then cooking it in the oven for a few hours. So these will take about six to eight minutes to get a nice color. So keep turning them to get all sides a good brown and a good color on them. Now don't worry about the spices crisping on the pan. These will just add great flavor at the end. Once all sides have been seared, add in your veggies that have been waiting so patiently and throw in two bay leaves. Now let it cook for two minutes or so before we deglaze the pan with a bottle of red wine. Deglazing helps lift all those flavors and spices from the bottom and incorporate them well with the rest of the meal. Shuffle things around to bring the lamb back on top. Now just let the wine boil off until it reduced by half. It's that time where we give you a reminder to hit that subscribe button below and ring the bell. Keep up with all our videos and recipes. Plenty of new ones coming up and plenty of great ones to look at. Every so often, give it a little shake or a stir. Now it's about half reduced, let's add two cups of chicken stock. Chicken soup mix and water is great if you don't have real chicken stock. Now, bring it back up to a boil and let it go for another two or three minutes before getting the pot into the oven uncovered on 320 degrees Fahrenheit for about three hours. Now because it's uncovered, it will cook a little bit slower and will need you to rotate the lamb every hour or so and baste it so it stops it from drying out. Uncovered will give you a much better and more rewarding end result. Trust me, I know it's strange, but you won't regret it. Now three hours done, out it goes. And would you look at that. The meat is falling off the bone and we didn't even touch it yet. Great color and smells unbelievable. Just look at it. It's unbelievable, it just falls off the bone tender. Everything coming together just wonderfully. Next, baby potatoes. No, wait a minute. Let's take a quick break to thank our sponsor, The Kosher King. Don't forget to check them out. The link is gonna be in the description below. All right, let's continue. A bunch of baby potatoes halved in a Pyrex. Then add in some salt, black pepper, and paprika. Paprika gives it a beautiful color, so don't be stingy with it. Now, oil, and mix well together. Baking time. In the oven it goes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes. Now keep an eye on these guys, you don't want them to overcook. Out they go. Gorgeous, right? Now time to plate. Add the potatoes nice and slowly so they don't make a mess. Then top them with a nice piece of lamb. All this smells so good, I really can't even wait to taste. Wait, wait a minute, did you see that? Let's see that again. Wow, it just falls off the bone. The meat is unbelievably tender. You know it's gonna be great. Now try again, this time carefully, and place it over the potato. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? 
Top it with some sauce. Mmm. And top it again with another piece of meat. I hope you're ready to taste one of the most flavorful packed meals you'll ever have. Perfectly roasted baby potatoes, fall off the bone braised lamb shanks, perfect for any Seder. There you have it, lamb shanks on a bed of baby roasted potatoes. Now that is impossibly kosher. How awesome was that video? Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up and ring that bell to get notified of future videos just released. And don't forget to check out the Kosher King and KosherMeetsToYou.com who are the proud sponsors of this video.